Hello everybody, I'm Barry, and you're watching another episode of the Mashmaker Challenge. Now today I'm doing something a little different. I will be brewing a beer from the Mashmaker book, but I want to brew it for a certain YouTube celebrity uh, that Jill and I enjoy watching. Uh, the name of the channel is called Camping with Steve, and the name of the guy who runs the channel is Steve Wallace. Now my wife, uh, she wanted to get this for me for Christmas, but it didn't come in time. And what it is, it's a Camping with Steve hoodie. And on it, it says Step 2 Brewing Company. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Even though there is not a Step 2 Brewing Company, I do not think. But I thought, hey, what a great idea. Now that my wife got me this, I'm going to brew a beer for Steve. So today, I will be brewing for the first time ever a Czech lager. Now, I've done some research and figured out some stuff. And I had to make a few switches. I cannot use the water out of my tap, which I usually do for most beers that I brew, and then I add my brewing salts to bring it up to style. But the water inside my tap has too many minerals in it for a Czech lager. So I had to go out and buy a bunch of uh, distilled water. So I'm gonna show you the uh, ingredients over here. I'll show you the back of this uh, wonderful uh, uh, hoodie. And then also, she got me another t-shirt. So, I can't brew a beer for Steve and not do it for Crazy Neighbor. <laughs> so, hopefully they both, uh, hopefully I'm able to get them the beers and they can both enjoy them. So, uh, I figured I'd do a Czech lager because... Most of the beers that uh, Steve and Crazy Neighbor drink are lager beers. Uh, they're not into, doesn't seem like they're into a lot of those specialty type beers and stuff like that. So I figured I'd brew them a good beer that goes with the style of their channel. So anyhow, let's get to it. So here are the ingredients for today. We got eight pounds of Bohemian Pills that's floor malted. As I said, we have six ounces of melanoidin malt. Uh, today is going to be a 90 minute boil, so I have an ounce and a half of saz at 90 minutes and a half ounce of saz at 30 minutes. And then we will be using 2278 Czech Pills Y yeast. Now, I have nine gallons of distilled water, and the reason why I have nine gallons of distilled water is because the water that comes out of my faucet, even though it is soft, it is too hard for a Czech Pilsner. There are too many minerals in the water that comes out of my faucet. So I had to get some distilled water and start from zero so that I could build the water profile for this particular type of beer. Here are the salt additions for today. We are going to be doing 0.1 grams of calcium chloride in the mash, 0.11 grams of baking soda in the mash, 0.12 grams of chalk or gypsum in the mash and 0.14 grams of Epsom salt in the mash. Now in the sparge we're going to be doing 0.22 grams of calcium chloride, 0.23 grams of baking soda, 0.27 grams of chalk or gypsum, and 0.29 grams of Epsom salt. to try and pronounce this. So it's Zvito Vaznikova 10 degree pale Czech lager. Again that's Zvito Vaznikova. I do believe that's right but if it's not just let me know in the comments below. I have the mash started and we are mashing in at 151 for 60 minutes. 
So I just transferred over the Motorboat Oatmeal Extra Stout that I brewed in, uh, I think, the last brew video. And here it is. Here's a sample. Uh, started out at 1065, got down to 1012. So it's 6.96% ABV, and the book was calling for seven. So I call that a win. We're going to take a little taste. Oh, that's really good. It's actually pretty creamy. Um, not terribly bitter, but um, no off flavors. Very, very good. Oh, this is going to be great when I get it uh, carbonated. I just put it in the keg, and it's chilling in the uh, Kiza right now. So I'm going to give it a day or two to chill, and then I'm going to carbonate it. I just drew off the first wart and I've got the sparge water in now and my salt additions added. So it is time for a hot scotchy, or as Steve would say, a step two. This step two is brought to you by the letter A and the number 12. So I've gone back to my mainstay, Aberlauer. That's my go-to scotch, pretty much all the time. All right, so we're doing a hot scotchy with bohemian floor malted pills and a little bit of melanoid malt. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, it's so good. Well, if Steve were here, you could have this step two with me. I'm sure he'd like this. If this were an ideal world, I'd be stealth camping right now and brewing a beer out in the woods. But unfortunately, it's still a little cold outside, and that's a lot of equipment to bring out in the woods. But I'm thinking about maybe doing something like that this summer up in the UP of Michigan. So maybe a little camping trip and a brew day out in the woods. All right, so we're up to a boil and I've added the first hops. Uh, so I'm doing a 90 minute boil at this point, but I might extend it to 120 minutes. It just depends on um, uh, where we're at at the end of the 90 minute boil. If I need to boil it down a little bit more to hit my gravity, then so be it. I started off with about seven gallons of wort and uh, I'm gonna boil down to five and a half. And if I need to boil down a little bit more, I will. All right, we got final hop addition here. Uh, this is uh, 30 minutes uh, to the end of boil. I did check the gravity and uh, we are at 1040 right now. So I'm gonna check that. We'll probably just do the 90 minute boil. We won't have to do the 120. So there it is. I got a visitor. Someone stopped by today and uh, I gave him one of the APAs that uh, Justin and I brewed. He was actually at the brew day for a little so bit. Was. Yeah. So he's enjoying the APA as so am I. Beer turned out uh, very well. Very, very smooth. Um, surprisingly, it, it doesn't really taste, uh, I think you said you used Centennial and Cascade. It doesn't really taste like either. It tastes like a, a blend, of, blend of the two. So it's very enjoyable. Actually, I think it was Chinook and Cascade. Yeah. But, hey, Tasty. he likes it. <laughs> That's all that counts, you know. Hey everybody, the brew day is done and the wart is in the carboy. I'm just letting it settle out a little bit. I ran it through the chiller and it came out at 53.4 degrees, which is perfect because we're supposed to ferment this between 50 and 55. So I just set it for 54 and that's where it's going to stay. So basically planning on fermenting it at 54 degrees because it is winter and my basement is usually in the low to mid 50s. So it should pretty much settle and stay at that point. Uh, I'm gonna introduce some oxygen uh, to this in just a little bit and then pitch the yeast. Uh, it's probably gonna be about a two to three week um, 
fermentation process. And then uh, we're gonna kick it up to 60 degrees for a couple of days. And then after that, we're gonna cold crash it. So this beer should be ready to drink uh, sometime middle of April, which is perfect because that's when the weather's starting to warm up and a good Czech Pilsner will go down very nicely on a warmer spring day. But anyhow, now that I'm done, it's time for a step two, as Steve would say. This is the APA that uh, I brewed with Justin Dean, so figured I'd just pour myself a glass and enjoy.